Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the big old wide world. My name is Jade and this is How to App on iOS, Holiday Edition. I know where I am, I'm currently in Adelaide. But I'll be back very soon. Today we're going to look at I fretless sax. I said sax, alright? So don't mess with me, I said sax. Hey, are you watching over there on Facebook? <laughs> what are you, crazy? I mean, how bland and boring is that place? Get the hell out of there and get over here to youtube.com slash jadestar where we've got a really cool interactive chat happening every day with a bunch of really cool people. And guess what? Because this is a pre-recorded show and I'm on holiday, I'm in the chat right now, hanging out. So come and join me and we can chat there, yeah? Or, alternatively, you can go to howtoapponios.com and you can watch the show there daily as it's uh, broadcast within the browser. Every day it's updated. You can see playlists and you can buy merch and you can check out my music. It's all my videos are like actual films that I've made and music clips. Man, my website's full of stuff. Go and get lost in there and go, well, don't go get lost, but, you know, get lost with entertainment on my website, you know. Why not? There's plenty of stuff there for, to, for you to go and have a look at. Even, what, what, let's let's have a look. Can I show you? I sure can. Look at this. Let's just give you an example. So if you go over to my website and click Vision. Uh, that's odd. Normally I get this crazy animated thing. There it is. Look at that. You get a crazy animation of me in a, in a uh, bondage mask, in a gimp mask. Worth the price of admission, yeah? But also, this is what's cool about my website, just to give you a look, because I don't really push this that much. But um, the way I've set it up is kind of like Netflix. So I have all these series here. So this is a series called What Happened to Us on Anxiety and Depression. I've done a show on this way back, uh, series season one, I think it was, of How to Happen iOS. Here's all my music videos. Here's a comedy series that I did uh, about Gladys Worthington. Uh, another thing, a project of mine called Totally Truthful News, some of my live gigs, and another project I did called You Are What, You're, what You Hate. Also, you can uh, see my music videos all from here. But when you click on these things, right, for example, if we go to What Happened to Us, it opens up in a new page, and it gives you the opening, and you can actually watch each video one by one, or uh, they have a playlist here. So when you click there, there's a complete playlist, so you can watch them all one after another. Or you can click here, On Demand Episodes, so you can watch each one as you want, all in order. So I've kind of set it up like Netflix, like that, so you can watch On Demand, or again, with uh, this one, the You Are What You Hate. This is the complete series. Gives you a bit of a complete series, so you can watch it all in one go. There's eight episodes. You can see them all there, all at once. Or you can actually scroll down and click each episode. So uh, when you click the button, it takes you down to each episode. So there's a whole lot of content, not only how to app on iOS. Anyway, you probably didn't know that and now you do. So I'm not really going to go over um, any apps that are on sale because I don't know by this time. I really don't know. I think it's uh, Wednesday here in Australia. So this is kind of my last day here in Adelaide and I'll be coming home for the next show being tomorrow. Um, but it's Tuesday for you guys because you live in the past. Uh, should I do this? Let's play Chat Lotto. So hello to those who are here today. I'm just going to do this anyway because I know I'll win. Tom Rochelle is here. Hey, Tom. Russ888 is here. Joe's here. Hey, is Doug here? I don't know, is Kim here? Who else would be here? <sighs> Dr. Zorders. Maybe Scott's here. I don't know, maybe SM Borthwick. I don't know. Who knows? Who is here? Maybe Andy and Stu? Are they here? <laughs> Pete! Pete, are you here? I know I'm definitely in the chat. This is weird. This is the third day I've done this. So Inception, so creepy. Let's end it now because it's strange. Yeah! <laughs> Alrighty, so today we are looking at, we're continuing the series at looking at I fretless instruments. And today's one is I fretless sax. I think I said that at the beginning. Oh. Let me grab my vape. I'm missing my vape. 
I need to give you all a bit of vape sound like Thomas's beard. Oh yeah. Yum. That tastes delicious. I'm trying to make it as much of a typical live stream as it would be, but it, it still feels strange. Um, yeah. All right, so we are looking at I Fretless Sax. How much is it? Let's go and have a look over here because it's $9.99. Again, really cheap. So if uh, you've been looking at something like GeoShred and the price is a bit out of your range, but you'd like to have a sax, remember there's woodwind instruments in this as well because sax is a woodwind instrument. So there's a whole bunch of other instruments, not just sax in here too. So this is a really cheap alternative for if you you know can't afford something like GeoShred. And the great thing about it is you can use it as a MIDI controller for other AUV apps, as we looked at with the iFretless bass and the iFretless brass yesterday. But without further ado, I'm gonna do a similar show to, to yesterday and just open it up in AUM with a bit of uh, black hole behind it, just to give it some body. And uh, we're gonna to listen to some sounds in it. And if you wanna go back and watch the iFretless bass and brass videos, I suggest you do, which uh, the bass one's a little more in depth as you just covered it all there. It's no point really going over it all again, but we're just gonna go through the instruments today. So let's open up AUM. Did you hear my there? AUM. And let's go full screen. And let's open this sucker up. So the initial instrument you will get is an alto sax. And again, pressure sensitive velocity strings here. So again, it looks like a guitar or a bass. Um, and you've, your white strings are your, uh, let's uh, bring up the cameras here just to go over. So I'm just touching that G there. And your black ones, uh, like, like having a uh, keyboard set up so you can understand what's going on. You can actually turn off the letters as well, which really makes it fretless and you have no idea what's going on, but it's fantastic how it has all the actual uh, letters there so you know what you're doing. You can hold a chord beautifully. And again, pressure sensitive. So if I just touch lightly, And as usual too, you can use your keyboard over here. And use the iPad as well. So you can use a combination of two things and uh, the keyboard as well. You can control the velocity of the keyboard within the settings of this. So you see when I touch a string uh, key really hard and really light. Pretty damn cool, yeah. Let's pull down my mic a little bit there. And again, the little cog down the bottom corner, we'll just show you that one more time so you know what's happening. I just love the interface. You can use this as a standalone app as well. You can open this up in GarageBand. You can open up in any door you like. So it's, it's really versatile like that if you open up in GarageBand, which we'll, we'll, try that at the, we'll try that at the end, yeah? We'll just go through some of the sounds and we'll open it up in GarageBand and show you a little bit more. But this little cog, if I move my mouse, I'm going full screen so you can see what's happening, yeah. There you go. So down there's that little cog and you just hold down on it, three seconds and you get to choose. So as you can see, if you saw yesterday's 
episode on the brass instruments, again, you have the option here to add multiple instruments. So you've got a primary and a mid and a bass and secondary instruments there, which is really cool. Um, and uh, this is the alto sax. So let's bring up the baritone saxophone. Yeah. And on the keyboard, Next, we got a bass clarinet next here. And over to the keyboard. Again, we can go into the settings and remember you can actually really knuckle down on the velocity here so if we pull this volume range down to about mid there and the sample velocity range to about mid as well so when we go back to, to the actual screen so you pulled out a whole lot of that really hard um, hitting so you get more of that mellow so you can see what I'm actually doing there. And you can change the velocity. If we scroll down here, you can actually change that velocity on your MIDI keyboard. So uh, if, we, if we pull down this velocity curve, And then turn it up so when you turn it all the way so you can hear me playing the keys there because we pulled all that volume out we can bring up that velocity response and you can even change the bend range in here so this is set to like 12 this is for the keyboard so we can put this up to like 2 and now But you can go crazy and <laughs> look at this 47 yeah let's go back to 12 where it was or just six also you have um uh things like your uh, number of frets here for on screen so let's just show you some of that I can change the frets here at any time like 16 frets and we can change the strings to like 8 and then when we open up you've got all these options here
pretty damn cool, yeah? Let's try another instrument. We'll scroll back up the top. So it was a bass clarinet. You've got a B flat clarinet. And what else do we have here? We have a funky tenor sax. Scoop, tenor sax. And back when we go to the screen here. Soprano. And the great thing is, you can uh, blend some of these too. So if you are uh, if we add secondary instruments here so let's just go for a blend so we've got that soprano uh as the we will actually we'll change that out we'll, uh, we'll put the tenor in there and second we can throw in like a bass clarinet and third i don't know what else can we put in there we can put in a we can put in maybe just a soprano and now they're all blended and we have But you can change the blend and you can actually uh, sort this out and arrange it into a uh, MIDI here. So it's arranged by each part. So as you can see, I'm going to hold down this G, then the D. So as you add each string, you're getting that secondary and third instrument added on there. Pretty cool. The uh, the possibilities are quite endless. There, you can mix and match till your heart's content. You've even got a sax sax session, huh? A sax session? No, a section. So a whole sax session, which is all pre-made for you, which gives you the alto, the tenor, and the barry sax. And because there are those all blended, so they're set to blend. They're all. So you get a really rich
And again, I can go back in here to the actual keyboard and uh, we can turn that up. Uh, what else do we have in here? So we've got a, uh, so this is a sax session arranged. And this one automatically puts it into these, uh, the MIDI, the separated. God, my arm keeps covering up the camera. <laughs> So you can see when I do three notes on the keyboard as well. There's not much else there. So there's a soprano and a sine synth. Let's just quickly grab that. And the soprano sax, which we already looked at. So yeah, there you go. There's some of those sounds there. That's super, super cool. Um, what we're going to do now is just, let's get really Inception. Yeah? <laughs> Why not? Uh, we'll leave that in there. We'll move that sax. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll set up a MIDI and we'll open up an audio unit extension. Let's just go full screen for you. And let's search for I fretless sax. What are you doing? Why are you not loading? Reload, reload, reload. Uh, it's not loading wise. I'll tell you what, let's just do this. Remove, remove, let's start again, yeah. Let's start again. And we'll add a mini track. And in here we shall add I fretless sax. And it's not loading again. Maybe you can't do it with this one. I don't know. Oh, let's see. I'm doing this on the fly, folks. I haven't actually tried this before. <coughs> I was going to load up. Um, what was I going to load up? I was going to load up not. Uh, where are we? Let's have a look. Man, look how many apps I have on here. Way too many apps. Way too many. Yes, way too many. So it's going to actually load heavy brass <laughs> and see if I can get super inception here, but it's not working for some reason. Maybe you can't do it with this particular one. Isn't that interesting? So what I will try, let's see if this works. At I fretless brass, see if that loads. Yeah, so, you, so it looks like you can't do it with the sax, but let's get a bit inception. Let's try and control... <laughs> This brass app with this brass app, yeah? So all you need to do is go in here and choose I fretless, and we'll go and add, add even tied back here as well. Just for the sake of it, yeah? Uh, black hole. And we'll turn down this room, bring that back there. So now I should be able to control that one. And I can. So let's go in here, check this out. And I'm gonna pick the saxophone in here. So we've got a solo sax. And now we're so Inception, yeah? Now I'm using I fretless brass to control this, uh, to control heavy brass as sax. <laughs> Thank you. 
And at any time, when you bring up these settings, you can scroll this down and set it actually higher. So you can see I'm at this low E. But if I scroll while this settings thing's open and then close, we're stuck here with this. And I could even go in here and change this out and pick a, a solo trombone in here. Where is it? Solo trombone. And now we can control that using, and you can use any AUV3. So now we've gone over to this trumpet, uh, back to the. So yeah, pretty damn cool. I'm going to shut this off now and let's, just to wrap up, see this is probably why I've got heaps of stuff open here. Let's close all this junk, close all the junk and let's open up G band. Just to wrap up with something different for this show. So we've got G band open here. We're going to create a song, a brand new song. We'll hit audio unit extensions and thankfully they're all showing up and uh, Here's I fretless sax. I'll wait for it to open up. Yeah, open up, bitch. Hey, I hope you're all doing well. Hey, hit the like button if you're enjoying the show. I know it's weird because it's pre-recorded and I'm, you know, not really here, but I'm in the chat and all that jazz. And subscribe if you haven't already. I will be back tomorrow doing live shows, I do believe. And we have a really cool interview that I've lined up for this week. So I can let you know it is with Darren Denelak. So that's going to be cool. We've got some metal coming up on this week's interview show. There you go. So now we have um, I Fretless Sax loaded up here. And is it working? I don't know. Let's see. Why can I not get it working, GarageBand? Maybe this is a complete fail. I don't have it working. Well, that's sad. Maybe it doesn't work. Maybe we found a bug. There we go. I can't get it to work. So uh, that's a bummer. I can't load any presets in here or anything like that. Um, oh, that's sad. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, let's try something else. Let's see if the other ones actually work in here. Um, I really thought that would have worked. See, this is what happens when you're doing a live stream that's not a live stream. It's a pre-recorded live stream. So, if you watched yesterday's show, now at least you know that the fretless brass instruments do work in here. And you can use the keys in here, or you can go full screen and... So if I hit record... That should have recorded in midair. Midi, 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 midair. Let's have a look. But unfortunately, it looks like it's not working. We'll try one more time and see if it maybe works. Looks like it's not work working with the eye fretless sax. So maybe I'll reach out. Uh, Mr. Blue Mango and find out why that is and we can get that fixed Yeah, look, it's not working There we go. That's something we can add to the list I will reach out and we can see if we can make that happen because I know there's a lot of you who use GarageBand or G band as we call it here on the show that would find this incredibly helpful to use um, There are other alternatives you could actually do so you could have set it up in AUM and send a bus over here but it wouldn't record the MIDI, unfortunately. But we'll reach out and see if we can get this fixed. Maybe, kind of, sorta. Alrighty. I hope you have enjoyed. We've come to the end of the uh, Home Away From Home series of the pre-recorded era of how to app on iOS. Hopefully there's not many more of these because they're a little bit alienating, not only for you, I reckon, but for me, because I feel weird doing this without nobody here. It's just me talking to myself. Hang on a minute. That's what it is every day. It's just I'm looking at a screen, seeing names. 
So it's really not that different. I, oh my God, my life's just flashed before my eyes. I'm actually just sitting here day after day in my room talking to myself about a bunch of fucking apps. Hold me. <laughs> anyway, remember I said at the beginning of uh, the week, well, the, the three days that I've been away, I am giving away a free app. Uh, over this whole three-day period. I thought I'd just mention it at the end of this show. So I've got 2.5 million copies to give away of Tonebridge. So this is Tonebridge, if you don't know what it is. Um, if you head over to the App Store right now, there's a waiting for all of you right now. Your chance to win one of 2.5 million copies. Just go over to the App Store and hit download now. Because it's free. everyone's a winner baby that's the truth to see oh you people you're ungrateful the lot of you anyway look i love you all thank you for putting up with me not being here and giving me the chance to go away on holiday thanks to all my patrons thanks to everybody who supported me over the last what 220 like five i don't even know what episode this is shows uh thanks for you know um, the super chats and all that stuff and all of your support which has uh, allowed me to go away and have a break and get away um, it's it's been really overdue I've busted my ass to bring as much content as I possibly can to you but it was just getting a little bit tiring so thank you for constantly supporting the channel and thanks to my Patreon to always uh, join in and, and, and you know help me sometimes a lot of the time get prepare shows just by letting me rant for three hours on the patreon remember you can join the patreon from as little as a dollar a month um head over to the website join the facebook group it's uh all those links are in the description listen to my music as well if you like i won't bite but yeah no seriously from the bottom of my heart you guys all rock and i'm so thankful to be a part of this huge community because we all rise together thank you all for being in the chat thank you all for all your endless support and you know what i will be back live tomorrow and we will do all this again and who knows what app i will be looking at because i fucking don't Alrighty, <laughs> is that no it can't be no i think i'm hearing things oh it is ah do you know what that means, folks? It means my holidays come to an end. And I have to get out of this hotel room today. Hopefully I'll be catching up with Pete one more time and having a boozo if I haven't already had three, maybe. I'll be catching a plane tonight, heading back to Australia. Australia? Hang on, did I go overseas? Oh man, I really need this holiday. Hang on. I'm there now. Or have I left yet? I don't know. What's going on? I'm losing my mind. I need another holiday. I need another fucking holiday. But this one has Tomorrow! Ah. Ah.